Hello listeners and viewers. Welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency Malam Nasir Ahmed El Rufai is positioned as always to ensure that under his leadership our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming senior school certificate examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-00540 090-865-00540 Six two zero seven two. Our website is www.education.kdsg.gov.ng. Our email education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com. Our YouTube channel Ministry of Education Kaduna State. Our Twitter handle at Kaduna underscore MOE. Or our Facebook page, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, learners. My name is Tim Bakoson, marketing teacher. Our topic today is transportation. What do we really understand by transportation? As a businessman, as an organization or firm, or as a marketer, you cannot succeed without considering transportation in your firm or as a marketer. Because transportation is the means of conveying your products from the source or from the plant or from the factory to the wholesale uh, to the warehouse and to the customer or to the retailer. Now, transportation in marketing refers to the movement of products or goods from a source such as a plant, factory or workshop to a destination such as a warehouse, customer or retail store. Now, after producing these goods from the factory, there is the need, after packaging and rebranding and bagging of your product, there is a need for transporting the goods to the warehouse and from the warehouse to the, to the retail store and from the retail store to the customer. Transportation is a vital means of your products to get to the customers at the right time. Now let's look at the importance of transportation. One, availability of raw materials. Transportation helps in conveying the raw materials from one place to another. Raw materials are generated at one place before they are used to manufacture goods. What are we trying to to make you understand here, learners, is that the availability of raw materials to produce these finished goods or to manufacture these goods without transportation and without them being together at the right place and at the right time, it becomes a setback for pro production. Now, when, when it has become a setback to production, that is to say, without this, uh, the availability of raw materials, your goods cannot be transported 
to the right place or destination or area of distribution. Now, the next point is availability of goods to the customer. The goods need to be available to the customer at the right place and at the right time. And how can this good be available to the, cost, to the customer at the right place and at the right time? It has to go to, it has to undergo the process of transporting them from the factory. That is, these goods are transported from one place to another. Transportation makes it easy for the make marketer to move the goods from one place to another. Without transportation, this good cannot arrive to uh, where you want your goods to be at the proper place. And that is why transportation is good because it makes it, uh, the, the products available for the consumers to get them at the right place and at the right time. Number three, transportation helps in mass production. Now someone will ask, how can transportation help in mass produ production? Yes, the availability of goods. When there is a good transport system, now the manufacturer tends to produce more in order to reach the demands of the consumer. Transportation helps in mass production of goods. Transportation is where transportation helps in the mass production of good because it is necessary. Transportation is Necessary because it expands and creates new markets. Now, let's look at how do transportation expand markets and create new ones. Now, where there are good transportation system or where there are bad transportation system. Now, when you are transporting your goods and the roads are not are not okay. Now, people your Marketers or producers tend to discourage because they wouldn't like to take the products that they've produced or manufacture to that particular area because of what? Bad roads. But where the roads are habitable, now it facilitates more expansion of uh, more expansion of your products to be sold to your consumers at the right time and there is more demand and people tend to patronize your product because they don't have hitches whenever you are transporting these goods whenever they have what harvested their crops like these local farmers who want from their Fadama areas or where they are farming irrigation system of farming to transport these goods to their consumers or potential buyers as a result of good roads they have easy access to their, cost, to their customers or consumers. Number four, the physical supply of product. It's one of the important uh, factors that need to be considered in transportation. And after the, after the raw materials are assembled together in order for the finished good to be produced, now there is the need for the marketer after the production process after you have after the production process has taken place then you need to supply these finished goods that you as a manufacturer or a firm or a marketer have what you have produced or manufactured this good in order for you to take them to where they are supposed to be taken to that is the final destination for the consumers or customers to have access to this good. Transportation helps in moving the finished product from the factory to their point of distribution. That is what transportation does. It helps you, the marketer, in moving these products that you have produced from the place of production now to where you want these products to be distributed. That is the finished goods. They are called the product. Number five, specialization. Specialization in transportation is also very important. Transportation encourages division of labor based on geographical or regional location. 
such as the distance covered when transporting the product. We are talking about geographical original locations now. Now, it has to do with the distance covered when you are transporting these goods. Now, if you are transporting this good in a short distance, now it does not take you, uh, it does not cost you much, but it will cost you less. But once you are transporting this uh, product to a distance that is, is far away, it costs you much. Now, mobility of labor and capital. Transportation facilitate, uh, I mean, transportation facilities provide mobility of labor and capital. If more labor force is available at any place, transportation helps to carry it to the necessary place. Where there is a mobility of labor, that is when there is a movement. Mobility of labor means movement. When there is mobility of labor and capital. And capital means the resources, the financial status of your firm or you as a marketer or an organization. The moment there is mobility of labor, that is, we're talking about transportation now because mobility has to do with movement of your goods from one place to the, to the location you want them to get to. And the moment there is a support of that financial uh, uh, there is a support in financial uh, uh, ground, then you tend to achieve your aim as a marketer. And that is why I said it helps in transporting or carrying this, your goods to the necessary place. Number seven, stabilization in price. Transportation helps to bring stability in the price of di different product. How does tra uh, transportation bring stability in price of a product? Just as I have said earlier, I gave you an example. I said when you have bad roads, you see it will cost you more. When these motor carriers, like pickup vans, buses, uh, trucks, they, they will charge you more. But the moment your roads are okay, they will not charge you what? They will not charge you much because you are dealing with the distance and how good the roads are. Stabli stabilization in price has to do with the good access of roads, which include transportation fare. Now you pay a certain amount before you convey your products to where you want them to get to. After, after looking at the importance of transportation. We need to look at the mode in which you can transport your products. One of the modes of trans transportation is, number one, motor carriers. This type of transportation is accessible and I ideally suited for transporting goods over a short distance. Motor carriers, just as I have said, we're talking about pickup ones, buses, trucks, and etc., etc. They are, what they perform is to convey certain products to where you want them to get to just within a short period of time. And the distance cover is not much because this type of transportation, it deals with the internal movement of marketers from one place to the other. So it helps in conveying uh, manufactured products to their locations or outlets where they are needed. Number two, rail transportation. This is typically used for long distance and it is less expensive compared to air transport. This type of transportation system conveys large quantity of goods to its final 
destination or area of distribution. If you have traveled by rail, you understand what I'm trying to put across here. Rail transportation is very good. It's one of the cheapest and it's very convenient for travelers who are who want to for marketers who want to take their products to where they want to a very uh, long distance where they want to convey large products or ma their manufactured goods. Now, when you go to rail, you will see that you can take as much or in bulk or in large quantity than the goods you want to transport to a certain area where you want to. And the rail transportation virtually covers all the part of the country, unlike air, where some of the states don't have a landing space for the aeroplane. But most, 90% of our manufacturers who use rail to, co to convey their products from where they want them to get to, they use the shortest way and the cheaper way as rail transport to, for distributing their goods and services. Number three, we have water transportation. Water transportation is unreliable and is less expensive mode of transporting goods. It covers limited areas in terms of distributing this good. You agree with me that not every part of this country will have the, this type of transportation system because we don't have uh, waters all over the country like sea for, uh, for shipping. So it only, it only deals with, way, play, with places where they have sea or seashores whereby they can transport their, what, their goods through ships. And it's less. But how can we get, to, uh, the, uh, how can we get our goods to be transported to where we want them uh, to reach, whereby we don't have water, water or waterways? Now, one of the disadvantages of water transportation is because it, does, it covers only a short, uh, a short area or short spaces of transportation. It does not cover much, just like the, air, the motor carriers and the rail transport. The, we have air transport. Air transport is used for long distance transportation. However, it is the most expensive means of transportation with good security system of conveying goods from one place to another. You see why it is expensive? By the time you get to the warehouse, where you have stored in your uh, finished goods, that is the product, before taking them to, the, uh, to air transport, motor carriers again have to launch them from the warehouse to the airport because a plane cannot get to the warehouse uh, to convey this product, this product that you want them to reach the customers. Then you have to use the motor carriers, just like I said before, buses, trucks, or pickup vans to take them to the airport for the air to be to be for the air to be able to, or for the aeroplane to be able to take them to where you want them to get to. And that is why it is expensive, because it involves double mode of transportation before reaching the final consumer or the final destination. Number four, pipeline. Pipelines are generally used to transport oil, natural gas, and chemicals. Most of petroleum products are transported by pipelines. You know, it's only this, these products can be transported through pipelines. We have the oil, we have the natural gas and chemicals, petroleum. They go through the pipeline to get to the destination where you want them to get to. You cannot transport uh, uh, gas through what? Uh, vans or through uh, aeroplanes and others. But they can, you can easily transport gas, oil, and chemicals through the pipelines to get to the destination you want them to get to.
Now, let's look at the factors affecting choice of transportation. When we say choice of transportation, we, we have to select the products we want to transport and at what cost and what will you take you as a marketer to transport this product. You have a choice. One of the choice of, of transportation is the nature of goods. We know we have products that are perishable, that they need. They need to get to where they want to, to the, to the customer at the right time. So you see, if you are transporting goods, you need to consider the nature of goods. That is whether they are perishable or not perishable. How can they get to your customers or your clients at the right time? Now, you, you look at, if they are perishable goods, you need uh, the type of transportation that is called air, uh, that is by plane, because of it gets to your customer or the consumer at the right time because it is speedy. Now, you need to, you need to look at this, uh, this good again that cannot withstand, uh, perishable goods cannot withstand the, 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 the hardship or the condition of that particular place. Then, the nature of goods depends on the availability of delivery. Number two, speed. Just as I have said in the nature of good, if they are perishable, then you need to consider the speed. Sometimes perishable goods need to reach the customer quickly to avoid damage of good. Of course, you cannot keep tomato for a longer period. You cannot keep tomato for a longer period that you want to, you want to take or convey tomato as a product to Lagos in six days. Automatically, some will spoil. But if you are using plain, just within some hours, you can transport them. You cannot transport Irish potatoes taking more days because the, the ability to withstand the the hardship, you may tend to lose or they may damage. As a marketer, you need to consider the speed of taking your product to the right destination. Number three, handling. Sometimes goods are rough handled while transporting them. For, for example, products transported by ship may be well on board before you select a part, particular mode of transport. You need to be sure that the product can withstand the hardship. Just as I have said, it's all about, it all depends on you, the marketer. You need to know this, your goods or your product can withstand this certain condition. They don't need to be rough handled because they may be well. If you are taking goods that are not, goods that are perishable on, you are using air transport on plane, they can be well as well. So you need to consider each nature each goods you want to transport out to your customers, you need to check them and understand this can withstand this condition, this cannot withstand this condition. We are talking about when the, the weather is, is favoring a particular product that you are conveying to the place of distribution. Number four, cost. Cost is one of the most important factors that determine the selling price of a product. As you consider your product, you need to consider your profit as well. You cannot convey uh, your products and you are thinking that, ah, when I take them, whether I make profit or not, it doesn't, it doesn't matter much. But what matters is that as a good marketer, number one, you need to look at the cost of, your, of transporting the goods. If they, are, if, they, if they are favorable to you, then you embark on transporting this good to their final destination. If, they are not, if, if the goods or the cost of transporting them will not favor you, then you, don't, you just have to back out. Now, local condition. This model of transportation depends on the risks involved, whether the roads are good or bad. You will need to tailor your strategy accordingly. What we are trying to put here across is to make you understand good roads favor your the cost of your transportation 
and bad roads does not favor uh, your, transport, your, your, your transportation system. Then availability. Some, some, some modes of transport are not available in some areas. Yes, there are just as I have said, there are places that you, you cannot use a transportation system to convey goods. There are places you cannot use rail to convey goods, but only in some particular areas that rail or A can be used. You can only use pickup vans or buses uh, to get the goods where you want them to get at the right place and at the right time. Here with me, I have uh, some question that I want you to answer. That is assignment for the day. Number one, what is transportation? Again, what is transportation? Number two, list and explain five importance of transportation. List and explain five importance of transportation. Don't only list, but you are to list and explain. Number three, explain in brief five modes of transportation. Explain in brief five modes of transportation. You are to explain just in brief. You don't need to write much. My name is Tim Bakoson with call of number 070-3769-1379. Again, Mr. Tim Bakoson, 070-3769-1379. Stay home, stay safe. Coronavirus is real. Thank you until we meet again. Thank you.